Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, I'm making these videos as a run through or a guide for a lot of the Lost Light uh, loot runs because mainly because I find a lot of the guides that I've been finding online have been either old or just not a good run through in my opinion with a lot of the information that I find a lot of people always asking for whenever I'm streaming or whenever I'm talking to other people about it. Uh, I stream on Twitch at doc underscore plague underscore. Uh, you can come check me out there. Uh, I usually stream in the morning and doing stuff. So uh, this is just going to be a basic run through a lot of the loot guides you can find and mainly where to find them and stuff like that. And I'll be doing a, a series of these videos just trying to give players some tips and advice on where to find good shit and kind of other like tips and tricks that people can really use when they're playing. So first we're doing uh, the factory and yeah, here we go. So factory, the main loot you'll find is crypto coins, fire extinguishers, uh, power generators, and coins and stuff like that. So this is your main starting area on the section three. Uh, so this is just a uh, personal lobby, so the setup is a little bit different. Like normally you would not find this box here. Uh, you can find other loot and lob uh, other health kits and stuff here. So the main thing you want to start, you'll run out through here. So right here, you'll sometimes find power generators, gas extinguishers, mainly those. And sometimes underneath you'll find a, a food. Someone's on our tail. And also Kill when him. you start in section 3, you'll sometimes find uh, fire, or not fire extinguishers, you will find power drills here, electric drills. So you want to check Enemy all contact. these shelves for electric drills. Uh, I like I like using this optical site because when you use this one, you're able to actually see you're actually able to see items that are there. So usually I'll run in with this optical site and instead of having to run and jump and check every every single thing, making noise and kind of giving your position away, I'll just use this one, scan it, and then look for a drill. Because it makes it a lot easier and faster that you're able to use that. The first locked door you'll come across is this locked door. You need the factory key. This key, which is similar to the conference room key, but it's also the rectangle square. And so you'll open that door, and right here on that table we have a... Oh, it's just scrap, but normally you'll find a watch or rings on that table right there come around here normally there is a coat hanging up here and you'll often find the keys that you need in there another drill location will be right here on top of the shelf you can pick it up on this side so you'll be able to see it and pick it up from there you'll often find a backpack right here not always but often you'll find it Back here you have an easter egg. It doesn't really spawn too good of loot. So you want to run up here into the office. You'll find dog food or uh, keys there. Dog food or uh, batteries there. You'll run through here. And here you'll sometimes find power generators or fire extinguishers in that box. Run up to this computer. This will always spawn at least one or two things of money. And same with this one. In here, you'll use that key to get in. And this one has three locations. Uh, on the back wall, there's a coat hanging up. There is a suitcase that sits right there. And underneath here, there is a safe. The safe will only give you a crypto coin or a graphics card when you open it. And then these two will give you a watch or rings, or even sometimes the katan golden katana or the scu uh, sculpture. 
Uh, you can find dog food there, dog food there, and uh, sometimes a one of those optical eyeball things for your robot dog, I believe, in there. Next, you'll want to run up here. Sometimes you'll find a drill there. Uh, you'll sometimes find a scalpel or a uh, pacemaker there. And of course, we know there's all these ammo boxes up all in here. I'll always check those for uh, different kinds of ammo really quickly. Uh, they had the update that opened this floor hole in here. And of course, as you see, you'll, you'll see a lockbox here. This one will do random rings, power generators, uh, pacemakers, etc., etc. Uh, you'll sometimes find rings, mainly rings here. Uh, you can find steel core, lead core, a lot of the crafting materials you'll find right there. And easy escape. Boys, let's move! Next is this room, which uses the same key as the office room down in the bottom. So you'll use that and go in there. Uh, so right above that, right in this area, there uh, is where the crypto coin will spawn. And that's mainly it. And also beside this container, there's two shelves. The bottom shelf, you'll always usually find a close quarter combat uh, hand thingy foregrip and up top you'll sometimes find a scalpel pacemaker or uh, an electric drill next location Warning. Delta team. Warning. Here. and in here you'll sometimes find a diamond flash ring up on this shelf you'll sometimes find a drill kit and in here, you'll sometimes find keys. And as most people know, in here on this table, you'll often find a gun, a mod, Sometimes you'll find sights in that box here, which will spawn guns as well. Next, you want to run up here. And in this room, you'll sometimes find uh, those a sight of some kind. Sometimes you will find a gold chain or a ring on that spot. Different crafting materials there, grenade there. But, oh, I took off photo fire. And so you want to run Enemy down contact. in here. Enemy contact. So this is the underground tunnel passageway. You'll always find a lockbox here, which will always give you this ammo or the APX for the MP7 lockbox there which you will need. Uh, F is not working. There we go. Lock box no, five. Over. Crafting material always there. Behind here, you'll often find a helmet or a uh, body armor. Uh, not the best kind, but some anyway. Oh. And in this uh, portable fitness bag, you will always find, oh not in here, but you will always find armor plates in there. And usually the good stuff, you'll either find tier 6, tier 5, or uh, tier 4 armor plates in there. Uh, sometimes you will find a pacemaker here, or a drill. Uh, you got these kind of boxes up there around. And then the next spot you want to hit up is into the wastewater management facility. Which it, which can possibly have the higher Warning. higher rate of uh, loot to find. In here, you 
you will often f uh, y you can find a a drill that will spawn up there. And so this spot can be the spot where you get the most possible loot. Under here will spawn medicine, the painkillers or injections, and possibly a crypto coin. You can also find a crypto coin here. Here. Bravo to HQ. Bravo to HQ. Ooh, sometimes up there. And on these ones, uh, on these three, you can find uh, electric drills. Uh, electric drills or the unknown cylinder gas or whatever, which is not valuable. And also here, you can find a crypto coin. The yeah. other, the other spot, you can also find down here on the ground a possible crypto coin. I also believe you might be able to find one here as well. So like, this is a room you really want to search around everywhere to just kind of make sure that you've gotten everything. Uh, painkillers and injectables there. Uh, yeah. You want to run up here. There will be a food box here. You can get food, and then obviously another back uh, thingy. You'll find uh, coin or keys there as well. You'll find injectables. You want to check in here for usually it is uh, keychains and uh, wallets, and also here you'll find. Uh, keychains or wallets and f for those who don't know if you take these painkillers it gives you superhuman abilities where you can now run through water no problem <laughs> normally obviously it slows you down but you can run at full speed no problem and then you want to you know check all the health containers and try and get all your things going right and that's pretty much it for the factory. You know, it is such a small area that there is, you know, you can easily run through a lot of this super quickly. Uh, I guess I'll show you the Easter eggs too. There's uh, always an Easter egg here, which you know never really spawns you anything good. Another Easter egg. A little tip if you get trapped here, kinda. You can jump up oh. here, jump up there. Oh, ran out of stamina. Jump up there, you jump up there, hop around up the wire. Another Easter egg. I believe there might be an easter egg up over there. Possible keys in there, as I see it. I said dog food. Oh, also on these tables, you you'll have to check these tables for coins, swords, watches, and uh, rings. Just like the other one, I like to use this site to be able to easily scan the table so you don't possibly miss it. <laughs> Another dock container. Battery, I mean. I don't believe they spawn any high tier loot in uh, lobbies. And yes, that's the basic rundown of the factory. It's a pretty easy one to get through. You can easily run through super quick and uh, 
get some fast uh, money making runs if you know where to go how to do it and what's best for you so yeah this is basically the factory run